Nicole. Hey everyone and aka Apricot Sushi here with another Apricot Sushi Samples Japanese food tasting video for you. I've got a lot of stuff in my collection to finish up before my trip to Japan in November so expect a few of these over the next couple of weeks as I lead my way through some of the things I have left over to make room for all the new stuff I'll be bringing back with me. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to be doing pudding goko. This is an instant pudding. You just add water. So I'm not uh, super convinced that it's gonna taste great, but it should be easy. So I'll show you how I make that and then try it out. And Pai Pai wants to try some too. <laughs> okay, here's a closer look at the packaging. Pretty cute character on the front here. And then the very simple instructions on the back. Just add water and I think it thickens up on its own. So let's try it out. Okay, so I've added the powder to the cup. It's a bit weird how white it is, considering it's supposed to be pudding. And I'm supposed to add about two thirds of a cup full of water and then mix it up. So we add the water. Is that about two thirds? Oh geez, spill everywhere. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, it turned yellow. That's so weird. So we mix that up. Sorry about the spill. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> and it's not really thickening up. Is this supposed to be more like a drink? That would make sense since they gave me a straw. Ooh, it's kind of thick. Alright, there you go. Looks delicious. I don't know. Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, Pai Pai decided to join me for the tasting. <laughs> I think she wants some, but no pudding for dogs. So I'm going to try it, but I'm really surprised that it... Pai Pai, can you sit? Can you get out of the way, please? Sit. Oh. All right. So yeah, as I was saying, it's very, well, it's hardened up a bit. It's quite liquidy, more liquidy than normal pudding. And <laughs> I'm getting nervous with this dog watching me. Uh, they give you a straw so that you can sip it because it's not really the kind of thing you're going to want to use a spoon with, but it's kind of got, I don't know if you can see, a goopy-ish texture. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna try using the straw to sip it. I don't even know. This is very interesting. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. Whoa, that is sugary. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit too thick to really get through the straw super well that it has a pudding kind of flavor to it like really like uh candy flavoring kind of pudding not like the pudding you would buy in a store obviously and yeah very very sweet way too sweet for me but uh it's a it's a fun easy kit to do and if you like pudding flavored things like if you like other things that aren't actual pudding that are flavored like pudding you might like this one so pretty fun overall. Thanks Pai Pai for joining me. She's resting next to me now since I'm not giving her any food. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.